to Six String Guitar. Today we're going to take a look at John Denver's Take Me Home Country Roads. We're going to have a bit of fun with this one. This is a fairly easy, straightforward song, um, and we're going to get right to it in a couple of minutes. Um, before we do, we're going to zoom in and we're going to take a look at the, um, the fretboard so we can see the chords and so forth. But before we do that, please subscribe to my channel, Six String Guitar. Hit that notification bell and hit that like button. It helps the YouTube algorithm. Okay, let's zoom right in and we're going to take a look at John Denver's Take Me Home Country Roads. All right, welcome back to the lesson of Take Me Home Country Roads by John Denver. So the very first thing we got to do is place the capo on the second fret. And um, we are actually playing in the key of A, which is the original recording, but you can move the capo or capo uh, to your desired uh, pitch for your voice, but I'm doing it in the original key that John Denver recorded it in. So let's look at the chords, and the very first chord is a G chord, the next chord is an E minor, the next chord is a D, the next chord is a C, we can play C like this, whichever you prefer. And the other chord is an F. You can play your F like that, bearing the first two strings on the first fret with your index, or you want to take this and do the whole bar. All depends on how comfortable you are with bar chords and so forth. The uh, last um, Chord, uh, if you want to do it, is a D7. If you want to do it, and it's in the bridge, and we'll sh I'll show you that you don't have to do a D7, but you can. Okay, so the strumming pattern would go like this. <clears throat> so we're going to do an alternating bass, and we're going to. It's, it's like a Johnny Cash. It reminds me of Johnny Cash. So we're going to we're going to find the root of the chord, and we're going to we're either going to And then we're going to put a, a strum in between. So the strum pattern is going to be so it's six, four, five, six, down, five and so forth. So what we're doing here is we are we are hitting the root and then we're playing the last four strings down. We're doing another down strum and up and then to the f then the other alternating bass and then we're doing f the four strings down, down, up and then we're back again. That's the sound you're looking for. We want to count it, go one, two, and three, and four, and 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 three. So you can do it like that if you want to count it, but that is the pattern. Um, the E minor would be the same alternating bass you do. And then the D would be, you'd start here because this is your root note and you'd go, you'd start here and then your alternating bass would be the string above. So it would be. So 
So you're picking the fourth string and then you're strumming it all three. Down, up, and then you're going to five. Then you're going to the bottom three, down, up, and then back to the root again. And you do that twice for the, for the there's two uh, measures for each chord. The C, now you can play the C like this. This is your C root, and you do. And then your alternating bass would be your sixth string. So you can either do. Move your, your ring finger from your fifth string to your sixth string. Or if you want to play the C like this. You can keep just keep it everything down. Sorry. It's hard to do when it's slow. <laughs> Let's try this again. So your C would start off on your fifth string. Sixth. Five. Down up. Six. Down. And that would be the strumming pattern for the song. So the um, verse progression starts off on a G major, E minor, D, and C. And that goes around twice. So we're going to do it. Uh, we'll do it. Uh, here we go. So it starts off at Almost Heaven, West Virginia. So here we go. Again, so that's the whole verse. So it goes around twice, and then we get into the chorus. Take me home, country roads. <clears throat> Same chords, different progression. So the uh, the progression starts off with a G to a D to an E minor. And then to a C, back to the G, to a D, and then to a C. And again, you use the same strumming pattern. You can. So we'll start off, O oh country. So that is the chorus. Then after, so after the chorus, it goes to a second verse, back to the chorus again, and then here is the bridge. So the bridge, I would not strum. You could strum the same if you want it, but <clears throat> I've played this so uh, many times in the band. Um, I would just do a strum and count to four and then change to the next chord. So, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and so on. So, the, um, the um, bridge starts off on an E minor, D, to a C, uh, to a G, to a C, Back to a G, back to a D, and back to an E minor. Here's your F, to a C, to a G, to a D, and then you could, 
you could strum on the G and the D. It goes yesterday. And back again to the. So <clears throat> I'm just gonna do that again. So it starts off. It starts off I hear her voice in the Now on a D you can start to strum You go to a D7 And back to the chorus again Country road Roll. and so on so you'll do that twice